just a little bit smaller than the technical overview. Uh, the 2012 cars, the R18 Ultra, is a development done for this year. The target was to use last year's car, which been racing for the very last time here in Sebring, as a base, but reduce the weight by about 80 kilograms minimum because we knew that the hybrid system itself weighs roughly about that. And you know, in motorsport, additional weight is the biggest penalty you can get and therefore the target was to reduce the already lightweight R18 from last year to reduce the weight by again close to 100 kilograms, which was a big task and it was a good example to do in motorsport the ultra concept, that means going to minimum weight with maximum strength, which is as well the target in our roadcast for the future, because weight is there as important as it is in racing. There it is as well performance, but in parallel fuel consumption and economy. Our idea for this year is to have the new Etron Quattro running, which is the same car than the Ultra, but a hybrid system installed. It's a hybrid system that takes its energy and puts its energy back on the front axle. That means the rest of the car is identical to the Audi Ultra, but the e-tron Quattro just has an additional front wheel axle driven by electric energy that earlier has been recovered during braking, which normally on a car is today wasted energy. But we tried to use this energy that can be collected during braking and put it back into acceleration after the corners. The rule book now, after they know from former time how good our Quattro system has worked and that it was always an advantage in racing to have it, like it is an advantage to have it on the road car, they now change the rule book a little bit to take away some of the positive effects of a Quattro system. One is that, for example, we are not allowed to put power, power down at speeds lower than 120 k's. The intention is clear. You want to have us out of the corners without using the Quattro and just using it on the straights where the advantage of the Quattro system itself isn't there as much anymore. It's still something positive to distribute power on all four wheels, but a better acceleration out of corners is not possible. Anyway, and therefore I also call it sometimes it's a part-time quattro, <laughs> uh, but the good thing is in our road cars, and there you will find in the future this concept as well, there we can use it with all the advantages of the quattro, there you will find as well on one axle the combustion engine, the other axle electrically driven, and the combination of all these four driven wheels could be a perfect system for the future. To make this on a level of acceptable workload, we have taken the decision to have the basic car from the Audi Ultra and the Audi e-tron Quattro completely identical. The difference is only that the e-tron Quattro has the additional hybrid system in. The rest of the two cars is completely identical and therefore we race basically one and the same car but two of them have an additional hybrid system where the specialists for the hybrid system can uh, concentrate on and the other two cars we can race with all the experience that we had from the last years. I think that uh, Le Mans race is very much dedicated on technologies that are future orientated. 
and this is also one of the reasons why we raced there. The hybrid car, cars that we will use, energy that we give into the cars more efficient than today, is a target everybody is intensively de developing on for our environment, for using of energy, and uh, for the health of all the people on this great planet we live on. Racing is a good chance to do pre-development of technologies that are future orientated and Audi Motorsport and Audi Sport has done it since a very long period of time and I think we have done it very successfully because all these technology have been coming back to the road cars some years later and the input that we have given is for sure not exactly the one that brought it in the road cars because this is done by our uh, partners that are working in the road car development but if you push a technology in motorsport to a level where you can be competitive you touch quite some limits of these technologies and if you touch limits you always learn a lot and with this input given to our people at the road car development they can use this as a great base to make steps forward compared to the others that didn't have all these informations out of the racing programs and therefore I'm still convinced that motorsport the way Audi is using it brings quite a lot for the improvement of the technologies of the road cars in the future that we make available to the Audi customers.